Okay, <clears throat> let's look at ordinary and exact interest. Um, the difference between, well, when we find interest, let's start there. We take the principal, which is the original amount, times the rate, the interest rate, times the amount of time in the account. We're talking about some daily compounding, but there's two different types. There's ordinary interest and exact interest. Ordinary interest is if we're just kind of want a roundabout <laughs> what it would be for daily. And that's our principal times our rate. Now our time is in days. Okay, so we would put the number of days here and we divide by 360. Exact interest talks about exactly 365 days in a year. So it's principal times rate. The time, again, that's your number of days here out of 365 because there's 365 days in a year. Okay, so these are the, they are two separate equations and we'll give you two separate answers. So make sure that when you are reading the question, you read to see whether you're dealing with ordinary or exact interest because it will make a difference in your answer. Let's take a look at this example. Gene McDonald's bank granted him a single payment loan of $4,000 for 90 days at 8% ordinary interest. What's the amount of ordinary interest owed? So we want to find the amount of ordinary interest. Well, the formula up here says to take the principal, the starting amount, $4,000, times the rate. The rate is 8% over here. We move the decimal two places to the left, 0 0.08, so we can calculate with it, times the amount of time. Now, this was for 90 days, and if we're doing ordinary interest, it says we divide by 360. Okay, so we just go ahead and calculate that. Again, if you're if you're kind of shy of fractions, we can do is multiply 4,000 times 0 0.08 times 90, and then divided by 360. The fraction 90 over 360 is 90 divided by 360. Okay, now when I do that, I get an answer of $80. So the amount of interest that would be owed on this count is $80. Marina Guzman's bank granted her a single payment loan for $2,357 to repair for a repair bill. She agreed to pay the loan in 31 days at ordinary interest. The rate was 14.25%. This asks, what's the maturity value of the loan? The maturity value of the loan means how much will you end up paying in the end when you pay for the item and your interest. So that's why our maturity value is our principal or the original amount you borrowed because you have to pay that back plus the interest. So we do have to find the interest first. Let's find our interest. We take our principal, $2,357 times our rate. 0.1425. Notice I went ahead and moved my decimal two places to the left on that. Times our amount of time. We had 31 days out of, this is ordinary interest, so out of 360. So again, just go ahead and calculate that. 2,357 times 0.1425 times 31 divided by 360. When I do that calculation, I end up with $28.92. That's my amount of interest. They wanted the maturity value of the loan. That means how much do you end up paying back the original amount plus interest. So maturity value, that would be the $2,357 she borrowed originally plus the $28.92 in interest. When we do that, we get $2,385.92. 
All right, here's Barbara D'Angelo. Her bank granted her a single payment loan of $2,000 for 100 days at 15% ordinary interest. Okay, so here's our principal of 2,000. Our time is 100 days and it's ordinary interest, so we're gonna use the divide by 360 and our interest rate is 15%. What's the amount of in ordinary interest owed? So on this one, all we have to find is the interest. So we take our principal, which was $2,000, times our rate, our rate's 15%, move the decimal two places to the left, get 0.15, times the amount of time. It's 100 days out of 360. Again, that's because it's ordinary interest. Okay, we go ahead and multiply that out. 2,000 times 0.15 times 100 divided by 360. When we do that, we get $83.33. Again, it just asks for interest, so we are done.